180 miles of international border between New Mexico and Mexico. Some of it closed off by steel walls, other areas just barbed wire fences. Doña Ana, Luna, and Hidalgo are the three New Mexico counties that border Mexico. In Hidalgo County, the two countries share an 81-mile stretch of border. Several miles of that is Normandy fencing. Dozens of miles of that perimeter is only barbed wire. That is all of the barrier within Hidalgo County along our border. In the boot hill, much of the border is on private land. Many of the ranchers installed the barbed wire fences themselves. Rugged terrain is also an issue. I don't see out in this area, out in Hidalgo County, where a wall would be even, where you would even be able to put a wall up. And most of the places, I mean, you, I, there's a lot of rough terrain. A few miles east, Luna County shares about 54 miles of border with Mexico. Normandy fencing, post and rail vehicle barriers, steel fences, and barbed wire are the different structures the county has in place. The barbed wire is the weakest link in, in our portion of the border. And to the east of Luna is Doñana County, where they share 45 miles of border with Mexico. Most of the county has a structure in place along the border. Here you'll mostly see Normandy fencing or 18-foot tall steel barriers such as in Santa Teresa and Sunland Park. While most of the New Mexico border has some sort of barrier in place, there are several mountainous areas like this one where putting up fencing or a wall would be tough. There are areas along the border where there's absolutely nothing in place, such as near Mount Cristo Rey and the Geronimo Trail. But Border Patrol agents say mountains serve as natural barriers. The wall, the fence, the infrastructure, whatever we want to call it, it it's part of a mixture of things that we need. Uh, it's not just it. Agents do believe we need some sort of barrier installed at every mile along our border to slow down traffic or to prevent vehicles from crossing over. A lot of people will argue that maybe we should do a virtual fence, you know, with cameras, with technology. A virtual wall would do great things, but agents like Ramiro Cordero say you still need the hands to do the work on the ground. There's no camera that I have seen that will climb off the pole or wherever it's at and apprehend somebody that's committed a crime. They're just good for seeing. Whether it's a steel fence separating the two countries, post and rails, or a string of barbed wire, the controversial debate on how exactly to secure our border continues. Reporting from Sunland Park, Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News.